Hi, I'm Dr. Ord Sarah Banshaw. I'm Chief of Gynecology at Mount Sinai Queens Hospital. The colposcopy is a microscopic examination of the cervix. It usually is done after a pap test comes back abnormal, so we can better evaluate the cervix. We use magnifying lenses in front of our eyes and wipe the cervix with a vinegar solution to better see any abnormal cells that your pap had detected. If we see abnormal cells, we will do a biopsy which means removing a small pinch of skin from the surface of your cervix, no bigger than the tip of my pen. The biopsy itself will be analyzed in our laboratory and gives us a much better idea than your pap alone about how serious the abnormality is. A colposcopy is performed in a similar fashion as a pap test, which means you will be lying down on an exam table and a speculum will be inserted into the vagina to allow us to see the cervix. It may take a few minutes for us to thoroughly examine your cervix with our magnifying lenses, what we call our colposcope, and perform the biopsies if necessary. You can expect to feel some menstrual light -like cramps if we do a biopsy, but the cramps usually subside within 15 to 20 minutes after the procedure. The whole colposcope procedure itself shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. You can then return to your regular activities, including work and exercise. If we did biopsies, we might ask that you not have sex for the next five days. Colposcopies are important because they give us a better idea of what your risk for cervical cancer is. If your pap is abnormal, that gives us a rough idea that your risk for cervical cancer is increased. After we perform a colposcopy, we can better determine if your risk for cervical cancer is low risk, moderate risk, or high risk. Understanding what your risk of cervical cancer is, whether it is low, moderate, or high, allows us to tell you what options you have. For example, if you're low risk, we may recommend that you continue to be followed closely with pap tests. If you're at high risk for cervical cancer, we may recommend that the abnormal cells be removed in a separate procedure called a leap or a colon biopsy. After colposcopy, you might expect some mild residual cramps. We recommend that you take Tylenol or ibuprofen if necessary. Some light staining, spotting, or dark discharge is also common and may last a few days. As I mentioned, you can immediately return to your regular activities, including work and exercise. We ask that you not have sex for the next five days if you had a biopsy. Very rare complications that happen less than 1% of the time would be fever, infection, or excessive bleeding. Please contact your provider if that happens. No special preparation is necessary before your colposcopy. If you're having your period and it is particularly heavy, it might be a good idea to reschedule the colposcopy for a different day. If the bleeding is light, we may still be able to proceed with the colposcopy. 